Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel, my name is Invin and today what I'm going to be bringing you guys is a video on where you can find each of the cooking ingredients in New World. Now this is going to kind of go over all of the regions because if you didn't know in New World each cooking ingredient is specific to a couple or maybe even three regions across the world and when you search the provisions, containers, supply chests or whatever the case may be in that area that are provision based you will actually get a chance to roll these items. This is going to be specific specifically useful for obviously crafting those kind of end game foods, those stat boost foods, and of course, those luck increasing foods. And what you will notice as you start to go up those recipes, to those high end recipes as well, you'll need a lot of these base materials for the recipes themselves, but also to craft and combine within the cooking station into other cooking kind of recipe ingredients type stuff for the actual main recipes for those really high tier 5 stat boosting foods which you can pick up from legendary recipes in and around the world. So without further ado what I'm going to show you guys today, first of all I'm going to break down which zone has what ingredients and then I'm going to go over and show you guys a map of each zone and the best route that I have been running which kind of makes the most sense and helps you out the most to get all of the ingredients that you will need the quickest. So let's jump into it here, the first part obviously is where to find each thing. First of all, you've got Everfall. In Everfall, you will see salt, string beans, and wheat. In Brightwood, you will see salt, apple, and yeast. In Windswood, you will see sugar and coconut. In Ebonscale Reach, you will see sugar and string beans. In Reekwater, you will see sugar, apple, and string beans. In Monarch's Bluff, you will see rice, tomato, and yeast. In Shattered Mountains, you will see rice and yeast. In Restless Shore, you will see rice, lemon, and coconut. In First Light, you will see cauliflower, onion, and melon. In Eden's Grove, you will see cauliflower, orange, and onion. In Morningdale, you will see cauliflowers, oranges, and tomatoes. Cutlass Keys is orange, tomato, and onion. Weaver's Fen is lemon, coconut, and melon. And finally, Great Cleave is, of course, lemon, melon, and wheat. Now, there is also Brimstone Sands, which I can kind of give you guys a little hint out, obviously that's the zone that may or may not be coming out soon, um, we've kind of seen it data mined and rumours of it coming out, and also if you look into the lore, there's a lot of stuff hinting towards this being a thing, um, so in that one there's rumoured to be salt, apples and wheat when that zone does come out as well, but obviously I can't show you guys a map for that yet, and of course in all regions you are able to get milk, and of course from the cows in the settlements, and on top of this you are able to find cooking recipes in any and all regions as well, so always keep your eyes out for those, particularly from the provisions containers, because that's where they will most commonly drop from. So that's kind of like an overview of which region has which materials. Um, hopefully, you know, that kind of puts you on the right track. And now what I'm going to do is show you guys the best route to be able to get the most provisions containers in a small amount of space or time in each of these zones so you can kind of target whatever you want for the zones. So as you guys can see on your screens now, I am using the New World Fans map. The link for this will be in the description below if you guys want to check this out as well, but it's kind of an interactive map that has got things pinned out of where they are around the world, so it's easiest to show you guys on this one. And um, First Light, first of all, starting here, then this is First Light Town. Just up to the top section here near this northern waypoint, you've got four containers over this side. The purple boxes here are the provisions crates tier one, and then the provision stockpiles tier one are going to be the obviously the orangey gold looking ones and the stars above them which is very hard to see but if I zoom right in you guys can see they've kind of got a star above their head and that's the level of them but to be honest they're all worth getting for the ingredients it just means you might get more at the higher tier ones so for first light you want to start over here on the coastline you've got those four coming to the middle here and there's another six to grab one two on the pathway down and then another three just here and then you can round back down for this final one if you want to as going back into the settlement there and like I said there first light is going to be really good if you want to get cauliflower onions and melons so next we're looking at Cutlass Keys, which is oranges, tomatoes, and onions, and this one is really, really interesting, so you can kind of do quite a lot of chests pretty quickly here, and um, your best option is going to be to skip these outlying ones, unless you obviously want to get everything, but you're going to want to start at the southern uh, kind of fast shower point here, head straight down here into the middle where you can get all of these chests, you can then, as I say, do those side islands if you want to get those few, but the highest concentration of them is to go straight down here onto this island, grab all of these, up round to the left, grab those ones on the mini island in the middle there, then go up to the right, grab these guys, maybe even dip in here if you haven't done first light before it for a couple of extras, and then make your way up to Cutlass Keys Town whilst grabbing these ones, and that's going to be the fastest run for that one. Monarch's Bluff then is going to be starting up at the top here, just above the settlement, you can grab all of those chests down into the middle just next to the settlement, and actually Monarch's Bluff is really good if you just want to get a few easy ones, because there's a lot very nearby to the settlement, so you can grab those just to the right and those to the left as well. And then you can carry on down here and grab these ones in the bottom right. 
head over through the left just below the bottom way shrine there's a ton obviously that is an elite zone so watch out for that one and then we're kind of going up here around onto the islands grabbing all of those grabbing those last few and then finally funneling back into the city really really great area to get a lot of provisions chests in this one so make sure you keep an eye out for that Windsward, we've not got so many provisions containers but there is still a decent few as you guys will be able to see just kind of three out to the left here at this side so you can grab those you then want to get these ones just underneath the kind of settlement here again pretty close by then the big concentration of them over here near the pirates and of course you can grab the one over here as well if you would like to near the Amrine temple it's entirely up to you if you do want to grab that though because it's kind of out of the way but that's kind of like your best run this bulk this bulk and these three here are your best bets in Windsward. moving up to everfall then so everfall is kind of the central place on the map again we've not got an overly big amount here but there is a lot in the top left corner you can grab those move down this way grab one two get into this big bulk here and that's kind of like your main strategy if you do want to grab a couple more there's obviously one down here couple below and also then two also down here near starstone barrows entrance you can grab those near the shattered obelisk if you do want to grab those ones too and um, but again your main bulk top left across the top and then top right is your best bet for ever fall ebon skill reach has got a ton but obviously you do need to be that higher level this zone is recommended for level 60 plus so bear that in mind i think it's 51 60 plus so you can get quite a lot of these there is a lot in concentration but bear in mind it can be quite difficult so there's two up at the top here you want to start up here you want to go down to all of these massive amount here then this one right here where there's a ton you can then either go to the left if you want to get that one random one personally i skipped that one i go straight down here to these two over to the right of the map here, grab all of these, swing back around through the settlement just above it here, grab all of these guys here, but again, you can skip those, it's kind of optional there, and obviously this one here, which is optional, run straight down here through into the caves in the mountain area, grab all of these guys across to the elite zone, and then of course, all of those ones in the elite zone, because those have got very good drops in as well. Reek water then, you're kind of limited again in options here, uh, there's a couple just over to the side here which are very easy to grab so you could always go for those ones if you do want to, but of course your main area is going to be in the Sirens Elite Zone area over here, where a lot of people who are 60 plus are kind of farming the bosses and things. As you're going along, make sure you're picking these up because these are fairly easy to get to once you're in that area and certainly worth the yield. There is another random one up here, but again, it's not really worth going out of your way for. So personally, I skip that. Personally, skip those two and just get the ones that are in the elite zone down here as well. Breakwood then, your best option is going straight left from the town, grabbing these three here and then kind of doing a little rotation down. You can go straight down here. There is a couple out to the left, but it makes a kind of a tricky journey going all the way out here. So personally, I just get these three down to this, these two here over across to this one here because it's kind of on the way down and then back into the swing over here for of course Lake Genevieve and kind of the elite zone down here as well as the non-elite zone bit just at the bottom you can grab all of those pretty quickly and as you are then going to be swinging back up to the settlement if you're going that way you can always grab this one on the way past as well which is in the graveyard there other than that not too many in Brightwood but it's a kind of a nice little run you can do to get some good materials from that one Weaver's Fen has quite a few chests kind of your best option is go left from the settlement or go right from the settlement I personally like to go right Right first, grab all of these ones that are jotted throughout the swamp, follow them kind of down here, through the swamp, down to the bottom, leave the two outlying ones because they're kind of a little bit further out, not really worth grabbing, but certainly grab all of these ones all around here, grab those and then cut underneath the bridge over to Perryville, grab those elite chests there and then make my way back up to here. You can also kind of go over to the side from Perryville if you do want to grab these ones on the outskirts if you want an extra provisions and then loop it back round right round the top and do these three at the top here as well, kind of do a full circuit if you like but personally i just prefer to do a smaller circuit just around this side of weaver's fen there rest of the shore then you're not going to get too many but let's say for example you are starting from the rest of the shore town you'd go down here for this bottom one grab this make your way across the islands grab this one in kind of the central area here skip the one in the elite zone because it's right at the back so i would then go around to the right across the beach grab these guys over here then i would go up here Grab this one, if you can. Obviously, there's a fast travel point here as well, so you could even start from this point, grabbing this one, and then go over to the right here and grab these few just down the bottom near Borshlem, and then obviously over to the Pirate Cove area here as well. You can get a nice few in quick succession, uh, and that's kind of it for rest of the shore. There isn't actually any others in the entire area, so that's kind of the run you want to do. Uh, personally, I like to skip the bottom bit, the rest of the shore town. I just go to this northern point, do these four down the bottom, go up and do these five. Just a little bit easier for me, it takes less time and it's more organised, but it's up to you if you want to do the full run of the area as well. Morningdale, your best bet, again, is kind of, there's a few scattered ones down towards the bottom, so if you are running through this area, grab them, of course, on your way. But my favourite thing to do is start off by the town, grab this one to the left, up, straight to this one here, then to the next one along here. And then up again to this one, up to the right, loop it round, follow these ones across, across, 
and then I'll go up here to these ones down the side, bring it back down, go to this one, this one, and then in finally to this one, and then you can reloop back to the city or do whatever you please. Again, not the most easy area to go for these materials, but it is an option as well. If you do want to go for it, you can give it a go. Uh, it's entirely up to you, though, again, with that one. Eden's Grove, you're pretty limited, as you can probably see from the map. Your best bet is when you're doing Morning Dale is to kind of dip into these two ones on the left. When you're actually going from Eden's Grove itself for those materials, you want to start at Valor's Hold. I personally would then go up to these guys here, up to these four here, and then down to these three. Not a huge amount of journey time involved, not a huge amount of stuff to grab, but a nice in quick succession you can grab very easily those few chests, and it's a very easy run to do so certainly a good one there great cleave again you've honestly kind of got two options you can either you can start at the middle point here or you can start at either of the outposts and then go up to the top for this elite zone there's a couple around cleaves point as well and the great cleave sign itself there's a couple around there and then obviously down to the bottom here again at the elite zone and a couple just kind of down in this little settlement area personally i skip those because they're kind of far out of the way generally i will go to eastburn i'll go down grab all of these move back up grab these two on the way back up past the fast travel point over to this one grab these guys and loop it back around to Cleese Point for my final ending kind of session and grabbing these two chests right here maybe even this one on the way if I'm feeling spicy if I need those extra stuff then I'll go for that that's generally my route in Great Cleave and then finally to see us out here then we've got Shattered Mountains of course again you've got some outliers so ones like out here which you can go for if you do want to personally what I like to do is start a mountain rise go down to the left grab this provisions container here then up down here to this one back down to this one this one and these guys here in the elite zone then then I'll come out of that one, I'll go over to the left, I'll grab these guys over here, maybe these two up top if I'm wanting to, loop it right round just outside Merc Guard, grab this one and this one before going in, then clear Merc Guard if I've got a group or just kind of try and ninja around in there, grab those two, cross over to the other side, grab all of those four, then these two up top finally, kind of call it a day at that and then run for my life because there's probably a lot of mobs on you at that point, so you can either then loop it back round to Mountain Rise, grab that one on the way, or you can just teleport out wherever you need, it's kind of the most efficient run I have found, so hopefully Hopefully this video does help you guys out with kind of finding some runs that you want to do in terms of gathering cooking ingredients. I know a lot of people who are trying to level cooking or even companies that are just trying to gather stuff in order to be able to make those stat boost foods the best. This hopefully will help you know where to get stuff from and some good routes to be able to take in order to get it quickly. So hopefully if you have enjoyed today's video guys please do leave me a like on it down below as it really really does help me out. If you are new here to the channel and you wouldn't mind supporting me, you'd like to see more new world content then please do drop a subscribe down below as well. I'd love to have you here as part of the channel community. And I do upload every single day, so having you here would be fantastic. Other than that, guys, as always, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for watching, and as always, take care and peace.